Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, The Assorted Bag. So today's topic is an immensely interesting one. We're going to look at phrases and sentences that we tend to often say incorrectly. So before starting, I wanted to share wonderful news with all of y'all. Our channel, The Assorted Bag, has been featured by Feedspot as one of the top educational YouTube channels. So thank you Feedspot for this. It's a really great honor. And I would insist that all of y'all go check out their blog, check out our mention on their blog and I'll uh, leave a link of it in the description box. Why don't y'all go check it out and uh, Feedspot has a collection of several such educational channels of various categories. So please do go check out their blog and it's going to be super informative. So let's begin with the first phrase or the first sentence that we often tend to say wrong. So we say... I will revert back. So what do you think is not correct here? I will revert back. Well, the use of revert back is not something that we prefer. The word revert itself means that I will get back to you or the person whomever you're referring to would get back to you. So always use revert instead of saying revert back. So the best way to say I will revert back is actually I will revert. Let's look at the next sentence. Myself and my mother went to the shop. So do you say myself and my mother? Well, no. You say my mother and I. So when you're trying to say that you and your mother went to the shop, you say my mother and I went to the shop. Another sentence that we often uh, hear in an office environment, even on emails, is uh, share me the document. So this is not the correct way. You don't say share me the document. Always say or always write share the document with me. You might often end up saying who told? Who told with a question mark? Well, that's not how you say it. You say who has said that? Who has said that with a question mark is the correct way of saying instead of saying who told? So the next is when we, you know, tend to mix up questions and statements. So say something like, you will come to the event. Say you want to ask it in the question form and you might just end up uh, sounding as, you will come to the event with a question mark. Well, that's not how you frame the question. Instead ask, will you come to the event? And then put the question mark. So that's more simpler and easier to comprehend that it is a question. A common mistake that uh, especially students do is they say, I gave the exam. Well, you didn't give the exam, you wrote it. So say, I wrote the exam. Did you heard that? No, you don't say, did you heard that? You say, did you hear that? Another sentence is when we uh, try using although and but in a single sentence. Say, for example, although I knew it, but I did not say anything. Although I knew it, but I did not say anything. So note here that although and but will not go together. So you say, although I knew it, comma, I did not say anything. So although I knew it, I did not say anything. So remove the but. And the last one that we shall look at today is the use of but and still together. So say for example, we say, but still you should have told me. So why did we use but before still? It doesn't make any sense. Just say still, comma, you should have told me. That's more simpler and easier to comprehend. So I hope you found today's uh, video entertaining as well as informative. Uh, why don't you leave a, you know, a phrase or a sentence that you often uh, say and you realize that it was actually incorrect. Why don't you leave it in the comment section? And uh, so this is a wrap for today's video. I shall see you in our next video then. Till then, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and hit the thumbs up if you liked it. I shall see you next time then. Till then, thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye.